Man, I just had a, had like a three and a half hour cry. I see cats like Rick Ross getting into it with fit. Man, I just had a had like a three and one half hour cry. I see cats like Rick Ross getting into it with 50 in recent weeks. 50 Cent has repeatedly trolled and taunted Diddy over his mounting essay lawsuits, all of which he has vehemently denied now the unit general doesn't mean to stop and has. Dragged another prominent figure, none the other Rick Ross, into the drama with Rick Ross and Diddy having collaborated, multiple times speculations are rife about them sharing questionable activities. And it seems like he wants to distance himself from everything that could stain his name now with 50 Cent leading the investigation, and even announcing the upcoming documentary on Diddy's crimes. It looks like Rick Ross has no choice but to snitch on his ex-friend. How far long in the process are you guys of that? We emotion well the latest lawsuit against Diddy 50's determination. To expose it all seems to be only growing. And while a lot of folks believed he was just trolling his industry enemy as usual, it appears to he rapper actually is making a project about the situation commits the recent lawsuits and shocking accusations of Diddy and his associates essaying multiple victims gifty, posted a screenshot of a headline about the recent lawsuit and wrote I told you they was coming in 54,003. 121. This is a movie surviving P. Diddy or Diddy do it or not. Executive produced by Curtis 50 Cent Jackson coming soon, with more victims coming out every single week, there's a good chance that these lawsuits might result in crimin. All charges against Diddy, though the mogul pledges to vigorously defend his innocence, calling his accusers money grabbers. You know they, they can't really touch me, y'all at the end of the day, y'all see and y'all what it is. But 50 is not waiting for the justice system to do it right. He's in the middle of his own investigation, looking for possible allies to shed more light on what was happening behind the closed doors in the music industry. And while they are all scared to oppose the powerful music mech, Ogle 50 Cent is using smart tactics to forge new partnerships, just like he hinted to Rick Ross, that he can pick a side right now and ride with Diddy towards public backlash and legal troubles, or join the light side and expose the music mogul's tortures, 50 Cent boldly posted a photo of Rick and Diddy together, captioning it WTF at some point, you got to just do the right thing. Now Diddy's news strategy to garner public sympathy and discredit all victims as money-driven liars didn't take him far. And as insiders claim Rick Ross is heavily reconsidering his part in the whole venture, where there might have been rumors in the background there were law suites that were settled there. Where were whisperers up behind closed doors you see folks Rick Ross might be aware of something still unknown to the public. And after the lawsuit started to pile on Diddy's desk, many people turned to Rick's songs and the cryptic messages they have found in them once say allegations against Diddy. Surfaced some began wondering. Gee, if... Ross lyric may have been about more than shady contracts. At the very end of the track, magnificent Ross raps, the game, never change money, still a focal. But it's time to the game, like Puffy did total Ross, and Diddy have been close for well over a decade, with the Miami rapper even linked. Business acumen in interviews now, it's time for Rick to consider if he still wants to ride with this man. Especially when 50 Cent offers him to pair up, you can forgive absolutely each other for for real. We've all been shocked by what Diddy is capable of love, and Cassie's claims about free go sessions with him was just the start. The horrors that she described in her lawsuit against him gave voice to many other victims of similar treatment. It wasn't just a one-time thing, and the accusations backed by those close to Diddy including his ex-bodyguards, suggest a pattern of behavior that stretches through multiple decades. The narrative unfolds sick encounters with Diddy, and how he used to hide all his crimes for decades, 
but publicly on the record, no such investigation has been confirmed. And also there have been other lawsuits as glamorous as it look from the outside the show business, is full of sinister chapters. And now it's the best time to pick sides 50 cent has always been the guiding ding. Light in this total darkness, and as many people notice he gets more support than ever as one person commented everything will come to light very soon and if Puff goes down watch the others that fall and another. Er user added they say, Diddy recorded everything, so I assume many of these entertainers don't want their secrets coming out. The chilling stories coming from Diddy's victims details his purported role as a spectator in multiple intimate encounters shedding light on a disturbing pattern of behavior. Within the industry, many accusers paint a heroin picture involving intoxication. Manipulation and essay highlighting the gravity of allegations against Diddy and his associates, well, Savannah, the allegations are horrific. And if you include not only Shaw Diddy comes now back to Rick Ross allegedly playing a part in the whole thing and now trying to distract the public attention. From himself. So when 50 Cent announced his documentary about Diddy's crimes and he intoxicated one of his alleged victims, he threw shade at Rick Ross as well, posting a screenshot of some of Ross' lyrics five. Zero Cent was quick to tie the music mobile's shady dealings with what his close associate raps about the lyric in question is put Molly all in her champagne. She ain't even know it. I took her home, and I enjoyed that she ain't even a know it ate which has previously been criticized for allegedly promoting. Essay. Now the story aligns with what other people share about Diddy and his ways to lure innocent people into his bed. It only drank them bottles right there so we already knew what the drill was. You just. T. Don't mess with them bottles right, as is well documented, 50 has long-standing issues with Ross and Diddy. Both, but when it comes to bringing the worst of your enemies down, you have to choose your allies smart well. 50 knows that Ross cares about his public reputation and will probably snitch. On his friend, in order to remain free and untouched himself, even after his lyrics about intoxication received huge backlash, he issued an apology before I'm an artist, I am a father, a son, and a brother to some. E of the most cherished women in the world, so for me to suggest in any way that harm and violation be brought to a woman is one of my bigot mistakes and regrets amidst the swirling controversies Diddy has less and less support among his so-called friends. Not only brands are dropping deals with him. He's also being blacklisted from numerous gala events and even shaded by his former employees and colleagues. It's like everyone knew what was happening, and it's time to speak out. Did he wanted you, he'll. I'll get you, and then he'll treat you like rumors have long circulated regarding Diddy's potential involvement in many shady activities, including several tragic demises of people around him. And as for his intimate preferences, we've heard what happens at his freak-offs. Allegations swirl, suggesting that Cassie, a former partner of Diddy's, reached a breaking point after enduring all that for years, and despite being bound by a non-disclosure agreement, decided to share her truth. Her lawsuit cast a long shift. Ados over Diddy public image, and it later collapsed as domino with other men. And there other a lot of salacious accusations to adding to the disturbing picture a new portion of accusations emerged just a few days ago. Music producer Rodney Lil Rod Jones is the latest to file a la 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 suit against. Diddy alleging essay and coercion into unwanted encounters during their collaboration on Diddy's latest album. The parallels between Diddy's situation and the E.R. Kelly case are unmistakable, raising doubts about. But the whole show business and the role of bigwigs in it while Diddy's legal team Vly denies the allegations, asserting the presence of overwhelming indisputable proof to refute the claims the mounting lawsuits paint another picture green shots from gatherings hosted at Com's home that included 
Underage as the legal battle unfolds, the public's perception of Diddy hangs in the balance with each new revelation, adding fuel to the fire of speculation and skepticism after Cassie came forward with her.